my experience here has been multifaceted. I guess that's the best way I could put it. I mean, there's so many different energies that just kind of like spiral up and end up in this one place in Haight-Ashbury, which is basically like the center of San Francisco. We were like walking through the woods and there was a path, but we couldn't see it because it wasn't lit up. It was like a bike path. And we saw all these like bike like headlights, like the little blinking lights they put on their bikes. And they were all different colors and they were just like flying by and they just looked like fairies. And we were like, oh my God, fairies. And like, oh, they're just bikes. Damn it. Like that would have been cool if we would have saw fairies on acid in the park. That's awesome. The best experience in San Francisco was an 88 LSD trip. I was dosed and I did not know by how much. There was the overwhelming feeling of gravity just pulling you into the earth, you know, and it's just, it was crazy. And then the, the peak happened. Here, chronology doesn't exist. And several times I melted into the fabric of space and time. But one of the things that I learned from that trip is that my mind can handle this reality. And why do I say reality? Because that is the reality. I mean, you're on that much acid, that's reality. This, this is a construct, this is the matrix, basically. Yeah. We're told that this is this, and that is that, and that is that. There's definitely support, there's drop-in centers, there's always free feeding, always, like, in the park, people come into the park, these Christians, and they just feed you all sorts of food all the time, and, like, you never go hungry out here. It's a real mix of, of camping and being indoors and being clean, because, you know, you got a shower. You got a shower. Uh, it's very stressful sometimes, like, I don't know, if you have a house and like family around you and everything, it might not be as bad, but like sometimes, you know, you don't know when you're gonna eat that day or if you're going to eat or. We have a cell phone, but usually it doesn't have any minutes. And we let somebody borrow our charger in Eugene, Oregon. We forgot to get it back, so now we don't have a charger, so <laughs> kind of sucks. There's crazy people everywhere, but there's a lot of them in Golden Gate Park. <laughs> so. Especially at night. <laughs> when you're sleeping and you hear twigs breaking and it, Last it, time we were it's here, just there been was rougher and rougher. It's one like... church mission, like down the street, that a lot of people that like live and chill in the park would go to, and like the government closed it down. And it's like, where are we supposed to eat? Are we we just aren't supposed to eat at all? Like we're humans too, you know. We need food and water and things like that. <laughs> Dealing with the cops in San Francisco is uh, can be tricky. They, they they are out there and they do try to fuck with people. The city does not like homeless people. The city does not like us free thinkers. Actually, it's not just the city. It's the it's the upper echelons that are controlling everything. They don't like us free thinkers. They don't like us revolutionaries, and they want us out. Yeah, sometimes the cops, like, when we were here last time, would come through, like, once a week and just kind of, like, shake everybody down because a lot of people are pushing stuff through the park everywhere. And... I'm, I'm loving every minute. I mean, in, there's definitely hard times. It, it Hard times definitely come along with it, but... I love every minute of what I do out here, and even the hard times, because I love them for what I learned from them, what I gained from that experience. I'm at a crossroads in my life for sure. So, is there some apprehension? Yes, definitely. But um, I am happy where I'm at. I'm, I'm going to be happy where I'm going to be. Whatever I do in my life, I'm going to be happy. But slowly but surely, man. It's a process. You know what I mean? Yeah, stuff that works. Well, slowly working on it. <laughs> slowly working on it. If God graces me with the ability to wake up tomorrow breathing, <laughs> then I'm slowly working on it. I'm, I'm content. Definitely content.
Like there's just something about manifesting. If you really need it, it will find you. It's awesome because you don't have to worry about rent. You know, you don't have to worry about like all that other crap, like getting up early to go to work. And <laughs> it's pretty cool. I'm still alive for some reason, you know what I mean? There's got to be a reason I'm here. I don't know what the reason is, but there's got to be a reason I'm here. Because I wouldn't be here if there wasn't a reason. Experience life. Love life. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I could be a person climbing up the ladder and checking the right boxes Moving through the brackets higher and higher with more gains than losses And I could have a cottage in a pretty spot and make it there twice a year And all the other months in the city with my job and my money, my tears Breakfast that I miss. 